part novel, part art, these are the works that defined a genre. I promise you it'll be like nothing you've ever seen. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 graphic novels of all time. After much debate as to what qualifies as a graphic novel, we've decided to include series with definite endings. This also means that ongoing series, including various manga and The Walking Dead, won't appear on this list. His hands are steady. He's full. Perfect. Number 10, Alice in Sunderland, Brian Talbot. What if I should fall right through the center of... Oh! It should come as no surprise that the intricate magnum opus of one of Great Britain's greatest comic book artists has placed on this list. Both historical and autobiographical, the novel tells a story over the course of three million years, touching on many of the important events that took place in the Sunderland region in a strange and unique journey through time. Evoking complex ideals too numerous to list, Alice calls back to many of Northeast Britain's most famous occupants, including, of course, Alice in Wonderland's author, Lewis Carroll himself. Number 9. From Hell, Alan Moore Taking its name from a letter allegedly written by Jack the Ripper, From Hell follows the notorious killer and examines his sinister motivations. Rather than focusing on the mystery of the Ripper's identity, which is known near the very beginning of the novel, From Hell tells the tale of the broken and twisted psyche of a murderer. The story embraces the theory that the murders were part of an elaborate cover-up orchestrated by the royal family, and it serves as a commentary on Victorian morals, in so much as how they helped shape prevailing ideologies and events in the 20th century. Alice is laughing to me. Off into me. Number 8. Why the Last Man, Brian K. Vaughn. As the title would suggest, this graphic novel begins with the apparent death of every male mammal on Earth, with the exception of the protagonist Yorick and his pet monkey. The plot follows Yorick crisscrossing the globe, combining sci-fi, adventure, drama, and comedy as he encounters a number of female characters, each handling the devastating plague differently. Through the story, various possible explanations for the plague are given, including everything from biological warfare to mysticism. A definite answer is never given, leaving readers to draw their own conclusions. <laughs> Look at what you're doing, Phil! Carol, this works for me! The fact that it doesn't work for you is not my problem. I just want to live like a human being again. Number 7. Persepolis, Marjane Satrapi. Despite autobiographies not typically being associated with graphic novels, Satrapi's tale of survival and bravery during the Islamic Revolution is perfect for the medium. Split into two volumes, the first concerns her childhood as she grows into a fiercely independent rebel, and is eventually sent to Austria by her family. The second volume completes this coming-of-age story, telling the story of her return and continued rebellious attitudes in a story praised for bringing the building's Roman genre to graphic novels, and of course, its message of fighting for one's belief. Number 6. Sin City, Frank Miller Look at you. You can't even lift that cannon you carry. Sure I can. Drawing inspiration from both film noir and pulp comics, Sin City uses its unique visual style, including being drawn primarily in black and white, to great effect to highlight the moral ambiguity of many of its characters. I don't hear you giving me any names, so I guess when I shot you in the belly I aimed a little too high. No! What color is used is done sparingly and to great effect, highlighting various characters and elements of the story. Although it featured much more color, much of this style was seen in Miller's later work, 300, with both graphic novels being adapted faithfully for film, recreating Miller's visual style on the big screen. After a while, all I'm doing is pounding wet chunks of bone into the floorboards, so I stop. So long, Junior. Number 5. V for Vendetta, Alan Moore. Jesus Christ! We're off to blame in this just too much proved that with devotion's visage and pious action we do sugar to the devil himself. What's that mean? Spare the rod. Equal parts 1984 and Judge Dredd, V 
V for Vendetta is set in a future ravaged by nuclear war, with a totalitarian government having risen from the ashes. He's completely single-minded and has no regard for the political process. The more power he attains, the more obvious his zealotry, and the more aggressive his supporters become. Opposing them is the anarchist V, the only survivor of a horrific experiment by the government who dons a Guy Fox mask. The novel poses important questions about individual freedom and personal identity, as well as a number of other complex topics, and has been hailed as part of a new movement in the 1980s that brought a new sense of maturity to comics. Number 4. The Sandman, Neil Gaiman Sandman is filled with the dark fantasy elements and complex symbolism that prolific novelist Neil Gaiman is famous for, while featuring a story which follows the literal personification of dreams, known by many names including Sandman and Morpheus. The graphic novel explored both past and present, and incorporated both mythological themes and historical events. The story chronicled the nearly 70 years the Sandman was held prisoner, and his subsequent development from a dark character to tragic hero. Number 3. Mouse, Art Spiegelman Drawn simplistically in black and white, featuring anthropomorphic versions of various ethnicities, in Mouse, Spiegelman recounted first-hand accounts of the Holocaust, as told to him by his father. With his unique visual style, Spiegelman made a commentary about the distorted reality of recounting such terrible events, as well as dividing people based on race. The powerful story not only examined the horrors of the Holocaust, but the far-reaching effects of it, as well as the troubled relationship between father and son. Mouse went on to earn a Pulitzer Prize, making it the first graphic novel to win the award. Number 2. The Dark Knight Returns Frank Miller Tonight also marks the 10th anniversary of the last sighting of the Batman. Most of our younger viewers now think of him as a myth. Many others still debate whether his one-man war on crime was right or wrong. This dark masterpiece not only redefined and reinvigorated Batman, but superheroes as a whole featuring a 55-year-old Batman coming out of retirement to once again fight Gotham's many supervillains. It moved Batman away from the campy version that many were familiar with at the time, instead featuring a much grittier caped crusader. You're under arrest, mister! You just crippled that man! He's young. He'll walk again. But you'll stay scared, won't you, punk? Perhaps more important than Batman's battles with his usual foes was his ongoing conflict with Superman, highlighting their different ideologies it's nearly impossible to overstate the importance of Miller's take on Batman, with almost every subsequent version of the character drawing from it. Where were the other drugs going? Uh, uh, I never knew. I don't know. I swear to God. Swear to me! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Watchmen, Alan Moore Dog carcass in alley this morning. Tire tread on burst stomach. This city's afraid of me. I've seen its true face. Watchmen is often hailed as not only the greatest graphic novel of all time, but as one of the best pieces of literature from the 20th century. Following the murder of a costumed hero during the height of nuclear tension between America and the USSR, the story acted as a commentary on superheroes and their genre, as well as a commentary on human nature as a whole, often touching on really dark themes. She was pregnant. And you gunned her down. That's right. You know what? You watched me. Watchmen received critical praise for both its storytelling and intricate structure, even appearing on Time Magazine's list of the 100 best novels, the only graphic novel to do so. I'm disappointed in you, Adrian. I'm very disappointed. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite graphic novel? For more awe-inspiring top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.